Okay folks, in this session we're going to talk about using your Apple TV and iPad to connect to AirPlay without an internet connection. It's actually uh, uh, something I discovered. It's pretty simple to do. We're just going to go over a few things. Right now I have my Apple TV here. I have it hooked with an HDMI cable to the TV and a power cable. Very simple to hook up and it's actually very simple to use. It's small portable fits right in your briefcase um, we're gonna do this I, I have my uh, iPad set up there also we're gonna do this using what most people already have it's just a smartphone now most smartphones I have a Sprint Evo most smartphones have uh, Wi-Fi built into them and I don't mean the Wi-Fi feature to connect to any router what I mean is the mobile hotspot um, in my case, Sprint Evo has the Sprint hotspot where you can connect four devices to your phone to connect to the internet. Now, I don't pay for that feature, and you don't need to either. We're just going to use that feature to, to, as a router, the phone as a router to connect to AirPlay. Right now, I'll prove that we're, what I'm going to do is uh, turn all the data and cell phone off. I'm going to put it in AirPlay mode. Oh, hold on. Give me a second here. We're going to put it in airplane mode. Okay, and I, that's going to disconnect me from everything. I am in airplane mode. Now we're just going to. I'm going to go through and go to my uh, Sprint hotspot right there. Now I don't sign up for this. It's thirty dollars a month. I'm just going to use this feature as a router to connect airplane. And right now it gives you a uh, the name of your router and a password. This is generic because I'm not signed up. Everybody gets a uh, the password one two three four five six seven eight nine zero. Um, right now I'm going to use this feature. Well, I'm going to connect right now. But keep in mind you do not have to pay when you just use this as a a router. It's right now it's, this phone is turning into a router. It's processing. Okay, <clears throat> of course it says you have to sign up and everything, but we're just going to get out of this screen. Now, my phone is a router without signing up. Now we'll go to my iPad. I'll go to settings. I'm going to go to network. I'm going to turn Wi-Fi on. As you can see, I don't have any... Uh, cell data or anything running on this. I'm going to turn it on and it's searching. As you can see, it found my Evo right here. So I'm just going to use that. And we'll give it a minute. It will connect. And then we're going to go to the Apple TV and Bob do the same thing. So while that's connecting, as you can see, it is connected. There is the arrow. Now we're going to go to Apple TV. I'm going to use my remote. Um, right now, this is about the generic screen for Apple TV. You go to settings, right here. Go to general, and scroll down the network. Okay, now it says configure Wi-Fi. Just hit enter. Right now, it's going to look for all the Wi-Fi networks. So I'm at a hotel right now. It's going to find a whole bunch. So you can see the Sprint Evo is the second one down. We're going to go to that one. Hit enter. And as uh, okay, it does want the password. And if you remember, the password was one two three four five six seven eight nine. So we're going to scroll down and just enter the password one two three four. We'll go down to five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then I'm going to click submit. Now what it's doing is connecting, and it'll show you right on the Apple TV that it is connected, but there is no internet connection. So once that connects, I'll I will show you. This can be an essential business tool. Uh, you can give presentations and. Uh, customer sites at hotels that uh, really don't have even a cell signal inside. You can just 
use your phone as a Sprint hotspot or Verizon or AT&T. You don't need a cell signal for any of that. Now, as you can see, it says your Apple TV is connected to Evo, but cannot connect to the Internet. That's because I don't pay for it. So we're just going to get out of that screen just by hitting Menu. Hit Menu again, and that brings you back to this screen. Now, to use AirPlay, it's very simple on the iPad. Just hit this button here, your home button, twice quickly. Scroll over and you're going to see this icon right here. That's the AirPlay icon. Let me show you. It has iPad or Apple TV. Right now it's on the iPad. I'm going to move it to Apple TV. Okay, now we want to put the mirroring portion on because we want to mirror the iPad. As you can see, the screen has changed. It's the same as my iPad. Um, and I'll show you a few things. I'm going to set my phone here to show you how it works. Okay, I'm going to hit the home screen, <clears throat> you can see the TV changes, works great, you can walk around the room with your iPad, rather than being limited to the adapter that you can buy, which is this here, this is the adapter that you can buy, the hook in here, and then your HDMI cable goes into the back of your TV, or a digital projector, whatever you have, on uh, the AirPlay takes away that limit. You can walk around the room. In this case, we're going to go to uh, we're going to do a little presentation. But it's real quick, and I can uh, I already have one loaded here. And you can just scroll through your screens. I hit the play button. It says main screen or external monitor. Since I'm using an HD TV, we'll put it there, and you can just scroll through and it this little icon. I know it's hard to see from there, but you can just tap it, go through, and you can walk around the room. Or you can tap the screen too. A nice feature about this one is you can press and hold your finger on the screen and you'll get a little, you can see up above there the red dot moving around. you got a laser pointer. It's very convenient. You can show movies, manuals, <coughs> Just about anything to the customer, rather than looking at a little iPad screen, you can show it on a big HD TV or the HDMI cable can hook right into a digital projector. So it does work out well. It's very simple to use. Um, and when you're done, just disconnect everything. And that's about it for this session. I'm going to have some more coming up here. Thank you.